all, Sarah Kustak is here. In case you heard, I just asked you if it was Kustak or Kustak. I want to make sure that you, you can say it however you want. I, I just, respond. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> hey, the Warriors blew out the thunder on Saturday. The highlight of the game was Stephen Adams. Mike, D listen to this. This is great. Never this way. Yeah, Always this way. Say. I see you, old timer. Say, OJ, say, push, push. Go, 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 go. I got you. Get that. Come on. Come on. I got you. Come on. Come on. Hey. Nice. Oh. Stay solid. Baseline. Nice. Nice. Nice, JG. Back door. Yeah, you did a good job. You did a good job, boy. First of all, he looks, he looks like the evil guy on any of the, yeah. the those like... He either looks like a villain or, or a yeah. pirate or... But, um, they asked him, which was great, so you, if you saw the game, they asked him before the game, they did a little interview, and they were like, well, you know, it was like rapid fire. And one of the things was, what is your favorite food? And he literally could not come up with anything, so he goes, it's beef. <laughs> I like I like the beef. I, it was literally just that a surprise whole food <laughs> is basically what he picked. You, who'd you say earlier is the best center in the league in beef? Joel Embiid. He's one of the Adams. One of the most underappreciated big men in the league. And you saw in that clip how much work he does without touching the basketball, up and down the court, setting screens. He's really good for them. And I'm talking like, is critical. Hey, like that play where Carmelo, he's like, "Come on, come on, come on, I got you." Who knows if Melo runs off him for a pick and then hits the bucket if he's not talking like that? So that was great. You underestimate how much he does for Russ and why? Because they've been yeah. together what five, five yeah. seasons now, yeah. five or yeah. six. Plus, uh, that accent is fake. You guys knew that, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, sticking with the Thunder versus the Warriors, tension rose in this one when Zaza Pachulia fell on Russell Westbrook during the third quarter. Westbrook was not happy about this after the game, and not happy is an understatement. Take a listen to this. What do you mean, rapper? What do you think would happen? Sure. I don't know. I couldn't see. Don't lie. Position. Don't lie. You couldn't see. You saw the replay four times. What, what happened? You fell on your leg. Thank you. Don't ask me a dumb question you don't answer to. You think it was intentional? Did you see it? I saw what it looked like? Times. What it looked like? Did anybody touch him? I yes or no? It. I didn't see the replay yet. Oh, you didn't see it? But no. why are you asking about something you didn't see? I just saw well, the play live. Well, then if you didn't see it, don't ask me a question. Don't ask me dumb questions. Obviously, it was intentional. So don't ask me, was it intentional? Nobody touched me, fell over my leg, tried to hurt me, you know. But hey, that's how I go. You think that's something the NBA needs to look into? Hey, man, they'll see it and, and look at it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They'll see it. Listen, anyone who's done that, been the reporter and all that, you've done it, you've done it, I'm sure you've done it too. It is so stressful for me to watch that. <laughs> you get a guy who's just not in a good mood and doesn't feel like talking, you better know your stuff when you come because I'm well, anti follow they, they knew of their course. stuff, they just didn't want to, they didn't want to give the answer no, for no, no. Yes. I'm anti follow up question. I don't like follow up mm -hmm. questions. Don't ask me a follow up <laughs> question. Let's just move the conversation <laughs> forward. I don't want him to turn around and ask me a follow up question. That anyway. was great to watch when you're not in the scrum or when you're you're not of the course. reporter asking the question, but well, I, I, I do hate when they say dumb question. You know, because what do we learn? No question is a dumb question. But we're not. That's what I don't. This like. is a different conversation. Yes. We're not looking for. We're looking for a different answer. Anyway, Sarah, let, let's talk about what the is it the NBA's responsibility now? Should the NBA do something against? Yes, absolutely. Dons? Okay, let's. W without a doubt, and I think it's all. There's never been a greater moment in time, or relatively speaking, for the NBA where the game is at. Yeah. And a player like Zaza Pachulia is not respecting the game at all. And we're not talking about, you know, foul calls or changing the outcome of a game. We are talking about potentially changing the outcome of players' careers. And this isn't the first time we've seen it. This is not an accident. There was a history there with Pachulia, what he's done. I mean, most recently, you look at what he did that play in the game one of the Western Conference Finals with Kawhi. Leonard this is something that is at such a serious level and Nick I know you're gonna get to it. I, I don't know if I'm at the point of saying that he should be out of the league but what should but a do? suspension I, yeah. I think absolutely you gotta have a suspension the league or... can't kick him out for this I want to make this clear I'm not advocating the league say you're done I am advocating that the Warriors should have a conversation amongst themselves in the yep, front office absolutely why is this guy on our team 
Why, why do we, a team with three with three MVP trophies, with two titles, with what Chris Broussard, one of the b best basketball minds in the world, says is the greatest backcourt ever, why do we need this guy? Do we need this guy? We have seen him injure Kawhi Leonard, and Kawhi Leonard's never been the same since, by the way. And I know that was an ankle injury. Kawhi's dealing with a quad. But every doctor I've ever talked to says there's a kinetic chain, connected. and once you deal with one lower body injury, it's more likely you're going to deal with another. I've seen him flail into his own teammate Kevin Durant's knee and almost blow it out last year. I've seen him throw one of the dirtiest elbows ever to now current teammate David West when they were on different teams. We saw him set a dirty screen on Russ and then stand over Russ and then this and Warriors fanboys do not send me the Zapruder film of Nick <laughs> Young's knee or the foot behind his knee even if that started is what led him starting to fall over he clearly aims his hand at Russell's crotch and allows his entire body most dangerously to fall on the weight of his legs. Russ's legs are are up under each other to a point to where it's not crazy that that could have broken his leg. This is one of the thing, and and we forget. I mean, Russ is a big guy, six three, according to most people. This guy's a seven footer. If he, it doesn't look that bad. Oh, he's just falling on another player, but that's a huge. This man is a refrigerator. But well, here's what I'll say. Look. I think he should be suspended. I think the league should look at this film, suspend him. I think the league should talk with the Warriors or talk with Zaza. Like, look, we have a tape of you doing this, of you doing this, of you doing this. It must stop. And it's going to get worse and worse as far as our reprimands of you if it doesn't. And then, but leave it at that. You can't kick him out of the league. You've not yet. You've had players like this historically. I mean, we and, and you could say it's back in the day, but my point is you've had dirty players in the league throughout the league's history. You don't kick them out of the league. If no team wants to sign him, fine, but you don't just kick him out I, of the league. I agree with that. Um, I will say with the league having a conversation, the league, if there's any ramifications, you brought up the point of Golden State Warrior players in front office needing to have a conversation with him. I think that's first and foremost because the guys you worry about, you look at who Zaza has targeted, Kawhi Leonard, Right. Russell Westbrook. If I'm Steph Curry, exactly if I'm right. Clay Thompson, I'm saying, hey, Zaza, teams, teams are starting to You're putting this, me get upset. in jeopardy. You're gonna, and, and that's, to me, where the biggest issue in conversation needs to take place first and foremost. Is there something to the fact that Without Kerr and the organization's blessing, Petrulia can't go out and just act like this? No, because he's been this every team he's been with. He's been, he, he, here's the thing about Zaza, and this is why I'm so quick to say, why should he be in the league? This is his only skill. He is not a refined basketball player. He's not a great defender. He's not a great offense player. He's not a great passer. He is good at setting dirty screens and hurting people. Well, I don't. Why do they have him start? Come on, Nick. What, why do they have him start him? Because JaVale McGee is limited as far as what his, his ability to pick up the offense, they and they need a big man to, to jump they, center. They don't have another big man. So those I'm are the only two. Great, I mean, Zaza's I mean, a seven-footer. JaVale's 6'11", seven-foot, whatever. Those are the only two big men. The, the Golden State Warriors play small so often that they don't play Zaza or JaVale many But you look at a game like Oklahoma City, who, who was going to guard Steven Adams? I mean, they didn't get enough. He's got to be out there. He's got to be well, out there because JaVale could play. He have him. some use for them. But I mean, it's not just being dirty. It is you could find his production at a replacement level without putting superstar players in jeopardy, which is what he does intentionally. And you're right that in the 80s, there were a lot of dirty, a lot more dirty players, but the league was different. And then in the 90s, people bring up John Stockton. At least John Stockton was awesome at basketball. Yeah. John Stockton set dirty screens, but he was a great but player. But dirty is dirty. Dirt, but when dirty is your only utility. When you're only there, Draymond's a little dirty at times, but Draymond is yeah, tremendous. Draymond was but that, that play but to me is that. way past dirty screen. Uh -huh. But you are potentially landing and people. breaking a guy's leg. Draymond was kicking people in the face. And you can't make the distinction. If you are if you can play, you can be dirty. If you sure, can't can. play, you can't. Not, not as far as a guy's employment. Well, okay. All right. Hey, Golden State, you're the member light years ahead. Smartest team ever. The 73 wins. You shouldn't need it. Sarah, thanks so much. Thank Thanks you. for having me. It's so good to be here. Coming up, can Blake Bortles live up to his new big contract? Bortles. Next, first things first. Got Blake Bortles on the show? Let's do it. <laughs>